professional race baiter Michael Eric Dyson got caught with his hands in the forbidden cookie jar. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about political contributor and author Michael Eric Dyson getting caught all in Nancy Mace's DMs and her text messages in a flirtatious manner after nearly calling her a racist on television. Now, before I get to the evidence, before I get to the video, I just want to say this. The reason why I'm doing this video today is to let you know that these talking heads on television, when they talk about the white man this, the white man that, white supremacy this, white supremacy that, all these leftist talking points, take it with a grain of salt, especially when it's about the white man all the time. When a black person is on there talking about white this, white that, white man's a devil, take it with a grain of salt, okay? They don't really believe it. They don't. Okay, that's the only reason why I'm doing this video. It's very simple. The more they talk about the white man, the more they love the white man. This is why on my live stream, when I'm late, I say, hey, blame the white man. Because it's a joke. Using that is a complete joke. It's not serious anymore in 2024. And this is yet another example of why that phrase, blame the white man and white man, this is why that's a joke. Okay, but first things first, let's get to the, um, the the situation in question. What happened on television? Why am I making this video right now today? Okay, now this all stemmed from a CNN spot where Mr. Dyson is trying to correct Nancy Mace as far as the pronunciation of Kamala Harris's name. All right, let's check this out first. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say now, a little bit of context. She was saying Kamala, and then all the panelists, you know, a lot of the black folks, it's come. It's it, hold on. She was saying Kamala. They're saying it's Kamala. It's Kamala. And here he is trying to lecture her and nearly call her a racist. That I just said you weren't a racist. Yes. That is complete. No, you don't yes. have to intend racism no, to no, no, accomplish it. No, no, no. You are it. intending that Your I am racist. Your disrespect of Kamala Harris is, is part and parcel of a tradition. Why can't you just disrespect? It's why can't you just Congresswoman? And it's why can't you it's just? Why can't, I'm not calling you a racist. I'm saying you what the practice is. You are. You are. Why can't you just? The better way I'm saying it. Disrespecting. No, what's disgusting is your disrespect of her. Professor, this gentleman said I didn't know her name. He's trying to do it. Disgusting to women is her disrespect of women. She doesn't know what a woman is. And if, if 25 years ago, white I women became, don't have the ability to tell black women who, who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 they years care ago, for your baby. so we're talking about race when the subject is who's a woman and who's not. OK, if you, Mr. Dyson, put a wig on, are you a woman? No, you're not. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Puerto Rican, the candy stripe. You are a male and she is a female. It's simple. Five years ago, I became humanity. the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the military. That's the okay. So you get the general idea of what's going on. Hey, basically, I think you're a racist because you're not pronouncing Kamala Harris's name correctly and you don't even really care. Okay, that's the racism there. Now, let's skip forward a little bit and we're going to kind of go back, but we got to skip forward. Now, here he is Wesley. all on the camera getting the getting the selfie. Hey, Nancy Mace. You look great on C-SPAN. Can I get a selfie? Can I get this from my phone so I can look at it after we're done? Yeah, let me get that selfie. That's pretty interesting. I don't think that if I'm going to allude to somebody being a racist, that I'd be all on their face begging for pictures. That's not really how that works, okay? I'm not going to be in Hillary Clinton's face and Maxine Waters' face trying to get a picture. I'm not going to do that, but here he is right there. All right, now... Nancy Mace posted this. Now, a little bit of advice to the men out there, especially. A little bit of advice to the men. You want to talk crazy about a woman and try to embarrass her and do stuff like that? Please believe they keep all the receipts. They got a whole photo on you right now. You don't even know it. You want to act crazy? You want to try to embarrass them? You want to try to slander their name? All right, cool. Well, how about this? Boom, right on Twitter. You see the little kissing face emoji? Okay, here she is posting the screenshot. All right. Now... That's them right there. Nice little embrace. And yes, Mr. Dyson is married, has been married since 1992. His third marriage, by the way, but that's a different story. So there he is with the 
cuff all out of the sleeve. Can we get your suit tailored? Can we get a pair of shoes that make sense? I don't know. But anyway, and then here he is. Shh, don't tell anybody. We look good together with the kissing emoji. Sir, sir, I don't think your wife would like this. And she's laughing. Ha ha ha. And then he's continuing. Well, your gorgeousness makes the photos. So there's that. Sir, how thirsty can you get? After, after nearly calling her a racist on CNN, on national television. That's crazy. That's totally nuts. Okay. Now, okay. I got a little bit of a, 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 a bigger picture here, but I want to go back. Now, this got introduced <laughs> into, into a record on Capitol Hill. I don't know the context of this particular thing. If you know why she brought this up, y'all let me know. But again, didn't I say they keep the receipts? Oh, yes. You think you're going to try to get over on her and make her? Look, not only do you have, not only do they have receipts, they're going to present it in a public forum. Check this out. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says, order. I'm gorgeous in all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the, one or the other. So, so there you go. So, so there you go. I mean, that's, that's what's going on there. Uh, Michael Eric Dyson, all these pro wax, pro blacks, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's, it's always the same thing. I expect it at this point. I mean, we see it in Congress with people that are elected officials on the left, your AOCs of the world, Ilhan Omar's, uh, the white man's bad, the white man's most dangerous on earth, except for my husband or except for my wife, or in the case of Don Lemon, except for my white male husband. Okay, they're, they're, they're the scum of the earth, they're the worst of the worst, but I got mixed kids that's white and black and everything else. It's a, it's the dumbest thing in the world. Uh, but as I close, I want to say this. Hey, if you like Nancy Mace, you are attracted to her. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. She's a nice looking lady. She looks very nice. You're not wrong to be attracted, but don't go on television and try to embarrass her. Try to almost call her a racist. Jump down her throat. Then behind the scenes, while you're married, you want to be all in her DMs, uh, sending flirtatious messages. Don't do that. Don't don't be thirsty like that. Okay, because when you try to embarrass somebody and they got something on you, it might hit you back. So I think he might have regretted his decision to try and do all this extra stuff. I have a I have one piece of advice, Mr. Dyson. Hey, you want to try to. Um, you know, be trying to flirt with women, all this, that, and the third, try not being married, number one. Number two, try not to embarrass them on television. And number three, just be honest. If you like white women, just say that. Don't go on TV talking about whites are bad, whites are evil, whites are the source of all our problems. When in reality, you want to be laid up with Nancy Mays. You want to be all on the, all on the chest, just relaxing. All right, let's, let's just... Keep it all the way real rather than telling us whatever you think we want to hear. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on Michael Eric Dyson? Do you think he's a hypocrite for trying to call her racist on television? And const like this, this has been years of him doing this. Years talking about how bad the white man is. But then you're trying to be laid up with the, the white woman. Like what's really going on? Is it of any surprise to you? Do you expect it? Listen, as I close, I say this. I expect this kind of behavior. This is what they do all the time. This is of no surprise. This is very normal. I'm almost shocked when they really don't try to do with a white person romantically. After going on TV talking about how bad they are. I'm almost shocked. I'm like, wow, really? You're, you're really serious about this, huh? That's a first. <laughs> I've never seen that before. It's, it's the same old story over and over and over again. So you will see this happen again. And when you see someone on television talking about how bad the white man is and they're black or some kind of other non-white, expect for them to have mixed kids or a, a white mistress. Just expect that to be the case. 
don't be surprised when it gets revealed to you. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.